Helldivers, we have a lot to go over, exciting updates, as well as some interesting topics I've not seen anyone cover yet. From the Iron Legion coming on Liberty Day, supposedly, to Flying Hulks, and a lot more. So strap in, grab yourself a hot cup of Liberty, and let's dive right into the video. <laughs> To begin, we are just going to look over the most recent major order because there is some speculation that the Iron Legion could make an appearance on Liberty Day. If that's true, sign me up, literally sign me up because I want a new enemy to fight. As you know, you can actually see the Iron Legion scattered around the planets. From these photos, you can see these bots are made of some chromatic metal, which suggests the devs are hinting at a new fleet of bots coming really soon. I mean, who's going to say no to new enemies? You know, I'm not going to say no. I mean, you know, bring them my way. This is also somewhat suggested in the most recent major order. Success! Clarell has been liberated from the circuit-operated grip of the Atomazon Legion. So yes, guys, the Iron Legion could be coming really soon. Who knows what Liberty Day will bring. There is also another part that actually goes into more detail on this, which says, Be advised, troubling intel was discovered within Clarell. The Atomazons were crafting a new alloy of their own, an exceptionally light metal, seemingly for armor plating. Investigations into the enemy's plans for this material are ongoing. So that to me tells us that the Iron Legion are here already. Obviously, again, you can see them scattered around the map, so we could possibly see these enter the game in the near future. From everything we have seen with the Major Order and the leaks, it is shouting more towards the Iron Legion coming on Liberty Day more than anything. We did have a black hole appear after blowing up Meridia, and some said, as I did, this would be the gateway for the Illuminate. I still think it is personally, but I don't see any indication that the Illuminate is coming on Liberty Day. It's more likely we'd see another faction of bots or Terminids than the Illuminates. And I don't mean, you know, Terminates coming together and making, you know, their own little faction. I mean, no, they're not, they're not that intelligent. But what I mean is, you know, just new variations of bugs. Drop me a comment and tell me if you think the Iron Legion could be coming on Liberty Day. Personally, it's more likely than anything else. I mean, it could just be another standard update, so don't get your expectations too high. I mean, if I get a free cup of Liberty, then yeah, I'm more than happy. But um, some people are wanting, obviously, the Helldivers 1 armor, as well as the Constitution rifle. So as long as we get that, everyone's happy. <laughs> Now, I want to quickly showcase some up-to-date renders of the capes we showed in the previous video. I think these are pretty badass. We do have a good variety of capes in the game, but once we get better customization for our gear, then having more different styles would make our appearances so much more diverse. It's not something major that's really needed, but I think small things like this being added would go so far. I mean, rather than adding capes and armor sets through the war bonds, why not add a selection in this store we can work towards over time and use our super credits for? I mean, that would help towards you no know, progression, you know, unlocking new things. So I think a lot of people would be happy with that. You know, different skins for our weapons, armor sets and capes we can use our super credits for. Just so armor sets and capes are not limited to the war bonds because the most decent ones are, you can get some in the store, but honestly, I would lot to see more that we can you know grind for and use our super credits for that's just my thoughts on the whole customization at the moment i know some of you if not many would like a weapon customization feature if it's adding red dot sites acogs new weapon skins and we did actually see this in a leak some time ago i will throw it up on screen i'm not going to go over it completely but it's obviously hinted in the files that weapon customization will be coming at some point in the future moving forward on to something crazy so prepare guys because if this entered the game, I think a lot of us would be crapping our pants for democracy. A flying Hulk, yes, a Hulk with a jetpack. Some of you may have seen this already, some may have not. So I thought I'd share it in this video because I did not see this up until now. We have seen a rework with the Hulks in the most recent update. So I'm interested to see what different variations of enemies Arrowhead decides to throw our way eventually. I mean, the automatons are a struggle anyway with the ragdolling and everything else. So yes, if we had a flying Hulk, that would be fun. That will literally be fun. Just imagine a flying Hulk. How menacing would that be? I want it. 
But then again, I don't. Hulks aren't too bad to destroy now since the most recent update. However, free flying hulks? Enough said. That, that, that is enough said. Would you like if flying hulks enter the game? Okay, that's the major question. Drop a comment because I think that would spice things up. But a lot of dying. Yes, a lot of dying. So now on to the big news regarding patches and updates. Helldivers, tune in for some important updates about our upcoming 60, or should I say 63, day patch and have a sneak peek at what's to come. This is going to be a massive update apparently and the devs have given us some sneak peeks at what's to come which is absolutely awesome. They are introducing flak apparently for the auto cannon, so that's really cool to see but we don't know the numbers as of yet and the recoilness rifle has also received programmable ammo and the big one for me the scorcher is getting an automatic mode like what in the managed democracy is that? I want that, okay, give it to me, I want it. And also the stalwart has some major changes too. They also hinted at that, so it will be interesting to see what those changes will be. I interrupt this video to say, if you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe for Manage Democracy. And you may just help by Mexican Helldiver find honest work on Super Earth. Come on, are you really going to deprive a Mexican family of their tacos? So give this clip a quick watch from the guys at Arrowhead Studios and then we can get back to the video. I'm Johan Pielestad and I'm Niklas Malmborg. So, 60 days, but we oh. didn't look at the calendar. What day is the 60 days? Like, it's on a Saturday. Yeah. And we don't patch during weekends because we don't want to break the game while you're playing the game. We have decided to release the 60 day patch on day 63. Uh, that's going to be on a Tuesday. Even though it's uh, a weekend uh, between uh, here and the patch, we'll uh, leave you with some sneak peeks of our most exciting changes. We introduced Flak to the autocannon. Uh, Recoilless Rifle has also received programmable ammo. The Scorcher and it actually has automatic fire. One of the nicest changes here is the, uh, to the stalwart. With your backpack fun function, you can recall and like let out your drone. So you don't want to finish uh, too uh, fast. No, I, and I know all about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. This is going to be huge. And you know, once the 15th rolls up, then we will have a big video showcase all of what we can expect. It's going to be big, guys. I can feel it. It's going to be big. And I know all about that. Now the community are getting a bit fed up and tired with the communication. As you know, the developers said their primary source of communication is going to be Discord and Reddit going forward. And as you know, Discord is one of the most toxic platforms as well as Reddit compared to pretty much most out there. My experience, it's mostly trolls and people who don't really like the game on Discord, I mean. I've been in the Helldivers 2 official Discord for some time now and even though there's a lot of people in there that love the game there's also a lot of trolls and people you know cry divers and hate divers who just want to tarnish the game so their sole focus is reddit and discord at the moment but not anywhere else and outside of pc gaming when you look at console gaming there's a huge number of people who are not on reddit or discord hell back on ps4 i didn't even know what discord was let alone reddit you know, because this console games are just different, you know, I mean, we're just different. So what are the team doing to make this better overall? They want to implement a system into the game itself, which to me makes 100% sense. If it's a notice board before you enter the game or something in game, like a terminal where you can see everything being communicated, from the developers. So Baskinator confirmed this, that she thinks it's a good idea, but I'm guessing what they're trying to say is they can't implement it straight away. And regarding YouTube videos, Arrowhead keep being legends, doing your part for Managed Democracy. And if you ever see these videos, I'm, I'm a big fan. Okay, I'm a big fan. If they ever notice this channel and its community, we appreciate your hard work. But yeah, we should have that in game and not 
have to filter through all the other mess that's in Discord to find all the relevant information. Before we move on to the last part, I saw this floating around and I found it pretty funny. It almost reminds me of Fallout. If you ever played Fallout, you get those gigantic metal robotic arms and they send enemies flying. This would not ever enter Helldivers. I mean, I would be surprised if it ever did, honestly. Lastly, the Major Order. What is going on officially in Helldivers 2 today? As you can see, we completed the most recent Major Order and we defended the planet against three attacks. So well done to everybody who participated. You Helldivers are going to get a free cup of liberty. But you, you can have to pay for it because um, yeah, times are hard on Super Earth, okay? Super credits are hard. So yeah, uh, you may have to pay for yourself. Chlorel has held and the Automaton Offensive rebuffed. The Deep Mantle Forge complex has been completed and has begun producing the cutting edge alloy that will reinforce the hull of the Democracy Space Station. Now that cutting edge alloy could have something to do with the Iron Legion because that was hinted obviously in the most recent major orders and obviously it's saying it there too so I reckon maybe that's what the Iron Legion are made from maybe some sort of chromatic alloy you know. So we have held three planets so far. All we need to do now is continue holding the others until the major order expires. This is going to be a longer major order than normal. The store doesn't really have anything new really at the moment either. However, I've not actually seen this exterminator armor set before, so it's worth picking up if you don't have it. So yes guys, overall we are one step closer to getting this DSS built. I cannot wait, it's going to be awesome. What it will bring, obviously we know a voting station, some sort of voting system is going to be on that democracy station. But anything else we don't know at this point, obviously clans and platoons were hinted, not only in the game files, but it's been hinted by the developers here and there. So I'm excited to see what the Democracy Station officially brings and also what Liberty Day will bring. Will it bring the Illuminate? Will it bring the Iron Legion? Or will it just be another standard update, you know, with a nice little news video, a free cup of Liberty, and that's it. Who knows? Only time will tell. I am grateful for everyone who stayed up until this point. You Helldivers are legends. Now go and conquer the galaxy for managed democracy and I may see you on the bot or bug front at some point and we can have a nice hot cup of liberty together. You know, full managed democracy. Also, I hope you like this kind of like new, this new angle. Something different I thought I would uh, try out. It's a bit awkward, I'm not going to lie, but um, it's manageable, okay? It is literally manageable, so um, yeah. Yeah.